money does not equal privilege. A homeless, poor, white male still has more privilege than I will ever have, regardless of the money that I make. I need you to understand that. I desperately need you to understand that. Yo, Trey. You're a fucking idiot. Hey, what's going on everyone? So I wanted to make a very special video today about Trey Melvin and Lil Wayne. I want to show you guys their different experiences on oppression and racism, even though they're both rich black men. So for those of you that don't know, Trey Melvin is a very successful entertainer and YouTuber with over 3 million subscribers. And he's recently been pissing a lot of people off saying, you know, uh, white people have all this privilege because of their skin. Black people are um, auto automatically oppressed because of their skin, you know, and um, Jeff Holiday, a good friend of mine, a YouTuber, actually sparked a lot of the stuff. Like the video that you saw in the very beginning was because of Jeff. It was a direct response to him. And Jeff has already made some responses to Trey as well. And they're very good. I'm going to link them in the description below. So it's clearly obvious that this guy is troubled and he's really fucking stupid because, you know, to have the audacity to say something like white homeless people will be more privileged than this guy, you know, a rich fucking successful man, it, it, it's just, it's beyond me. I pretty much let it slide and a lot of people have already talked about it and it's just like, cool, I don't need to say a damn thing. But then he wanted to double down on it, just reinforce that, listen to me, I need you to, like he said, I desperately need you to understand this. And I'm just like, no, I can't fucking understand this, I can't accept it. And I know he doesn't like uh, responding to white people in particular, he acts like, oh, we don't owe you an explanation. So I thought I'd take it upon myself to respond since I'm black. So to give you some context, let me show you some of his old videos talking about white privilege and how he thinks, you know, black people that don't support Black Lives Matter are just fucking the worst, you know? You don't have to worry about whether the color of your skin will get you into trouble or possibly murdered whenever you leave your motherfucking house. You don't have to worry about being told to get over slavery or Jim Crow or segregation in schools and jobs and neighborhoods as if it does not affect every single aspect of your life to this day. You can walk the earth unaware of the color of your skin, unaware of your whiteness. You have the ultimate amount of privilege, yet you dare challenge me? You dare challenge whether or not my black struggle is justified? Fuck you! Fuck you! I don't even have words for black people who do not support Black Lives Matter, for black people who have the audacity to spit in the faces of your brothers and your sisters with that All Lives Matter bullshit. These aren't opinions. These are facts. This is the country, this is the world that we live in. No, unacceptable. Now let's break down his latest video. Am I better off than a homeless person somewhere out there in that view? Of course I am. Of course I am. Do I look like an idiot to you? <laughs> Do you think I acquired what I have acquired being a self-righteous self-consumed idiot oblivious to my money and the power of my money i mean we all know you don't look like an idiot i mean you're, you're pretty fucking beautiful i must admit but you definitely do sound like an idiot and just because you're an idiot doesn't mean you can't get money i mean look at that fucking moron anesion he has a lot of fucking subscribers a lot of views he's making some good money but he's a fucking moron regardless of your economic status there is power in your white skin, whether you want to admit it or not, that I do not have, that black people, that my black skin does not have. So that's just a stupid thing to say right off the bat. Like there's just power in the white skin. I'm like, do you think they would be in a position that they're in if they had power automatically right off the bat? Or is it kind of like a playing field where you have to hustle to get what you want, you know? Or you have to be wealthy, born into a wealthy family to just be automatically privileged. You know, it's just not a white thing, dude. There are rich and powerful people across the board. So I don't know what you're talking about, man. You know what I've always been? I've always been black. You know what I grew up? Yeah, that means I grew up black. You know what I didn't grow up with? Money. You know what the money I have now 
can do. They can do this funny thing called disappear. That's what money does. I make a lot of money, yes. I'm still learning how to manage it. One wrong move and I can I can lose all of it tomorrow. But you know what I'll always have though? You know what I'll always be? I'll always have this. I will always be black. And I will always experience the disadvantages that come with being black. Do you see how, what you're saying is basically that your skin is just fu it's just fucked. It just makes you fucked automatically. You know how offensive that is to me and other black people that you're just saying because I disagree with you. There are plenty of other people that disagree with you. Lil Wayne disagrees with you, but we'll get back. We'll get on that later. An officer will not ask me how much money I make prior to pulling me over for, for no reason. They can still shoot me. They can get away with it. I can be the next Trayvon, the next Michael, the next Eric, the next uh, Sandra. I can be the next hashtag, regardless of the money that I make. And they'll get away with it. And white people such as yourselves will defend those officers. He keeps talking about this, and he's mentioned this in other videos about, you know, officers. And he said that once um, he had an incident where he was going to buy a house for his mother. That's some pretty good privilege right there. But yeah, he was saying that the cops were called on him, and then he had to, uh, a bunch of, like, what? Cops were drawing guns on him and everything like that. Now, I mean, the way that he says stuff, the way that he says a homeless white person has more privilege than him, I can't right off the bat believe him. You know, it's not, it's, it, it sounds like somebody that would make up something and and blow it way out of proportion to be like, look at me, because that's kind of what's going on with this shit. But I will say, yeah, it is a little unfortunate that like, say even me, sometimes I get pulled over unnecessarily. But the thing is, nothing's ever happened to me if I wasn't doing anything illegal. Now I can say in different circumstances, you know, like different things can happen. Just like say, if that truly did happen to you, I wouldn't say it's because it's black because that's never happened to me. You know, it's never happened to me. It just could be circumstantial, wrong place, wrong time. There's a lot of things and I'm not trying to sugarcoat or trying to downplay police brutality or say some prejudice or whatever. I'm just saying that don't jump to conclusions because there's plenty of stuff happening to other white people as well. I mean, we can talk about the white people that got fucked up by cops, you know? It's not just a black thing, dude. And you don't want to understand it. All you want to do is argue with us and tell us that Racism, racism is over. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Everyone's equal. Everyone's on a leveled playing field now. Now. Look, racism will never be 100% over. We all know that. The thing is we're saying it pretty much is on a level playing field because if it wasn't, do you think you would be able to be where you are right now? Think about that. Seriously, think about that. Let that sink in. If it was like how it was back then in the day when we were actually slaves and there was like real fucking oppression, like, do you think you would be able to be an entertainer that is wealthy, that is rich? Think about that. I have a platform, and do you know what kind of cut I would be, what kind of coon I would be to refuse to speak out on those inequalities, to refuse to let you know, to let white America know the problems that we face? These are my brothers and my sisters. We are a group. We are a team. Whether they're going through this, this, that, this, and whether or not I've actually experienced it, I can speak out on it. I will not let my money hold me back. Let my power hold me back. How dare you criticize me for speaking out on the injustice that my people face as a whole. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm not the only human being in this country with this. See Trey, there is so much wrong with that because number one, I, I, I hate the fact that all black people, all, you know, we're all brothers and sisters, you know, like, it's just our race for some reason, you know, you want to do that to white people and shit and all of a sudden it's the worst thing in the world. They're all fucking racist, but all of us are all together. And yeah, it's a thing. When I go somewhere, when I go to a liquor store and I see a black person, he's automatically like, what up, you know? And, and me, it's just out of courtesy, I do it too, but I do it to anybody. But I, it just kind of annoys me that it's like a whole, there's this whole brother. Like, I'm like, dude, I don't fucking know you, dude. You might be a complete scumbag piece of shit, you know? I might be a complete scumbag piece of shit. You don't know me. Like, dude, how, why are we automatically cool? That's I don't like that shit. You, you, you're fucked in the head with all this rhetoric about, oh, you're a coon if you don't use your platform to speak out about how racist white people are and how oppressed black people are. I mean, come on, dude. I mean, th that's what you gotta realize. You're a fucking individual, man. You're being in this hive mind mentality and you're thinking like everybody else that's just like, oh, my oppression, we're all so bad, regardless of how much money you got fucking stacked up, dude. It's not cool. And that's one thing that I desperately want you to understand. This is my, this is life. I'm sorry that you don't understand it. I'm sorry that you need examples. I'm sorry that you don't believe us. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that you can't just take our word for it. And you just think we're overreacting. 
Okay, so I've heard enough of his bullshit. He's just kind of rambling on about the same thing about not silencing him and that he, he has to be a fucking social justice warrior. So now what I want to do is give you another take, another point of view from a rich black man, Lil Wayne. You know, a 30-something-year-old rapper from New Orleans that has grown up somewhat with a silver spoon in his mouth. You know, he was pretty wealthy from when he was a kid because of uh, the whole cash money Birdman thing. Burr, burr. Respect. So Lil Wayne recently did an interview on Undisputed and they asked him about his take on Colin Kaepernick, you know, doing the whole sitting down for oppression shit. And this is what he had to say. So right here was supposed to be the clip of Lil Wayne expressing that he has never experienced racism. And he's just talking about uh, Colin Kaepernick and saying that he respects what he's doing, but he didn't really know what was going on. He's not really paying attention. And then uh, Shannon Sharp kind of has, uh, you know, a little bit of input. And then he's like very surprised about it. Well, everybody in the room surprised about it, thinking that like, oh, in Lil Wayne's 33 years of life, he's never experienced racism. That's very weird. But, you know, and Lil Wayne says, I don't know, maybe it's because of my blessings, you know, or a.k.a. privilege. And, you know, he just pretty much explains that he just he thinks we're past it, you know, but apparently we're not because everyone keeps blowing it up. And uh, so, yeah, I wanted to play the clip, but I edited it down and it, it still got a copyright claim and by Undisputed and Fox. So I'm just like, fuck that. I'm not giving them any money, but I just wanted to do this so you guys can have some context. And, and I'm going to leave the uh, interview below so you can just see the whole thing and really know what's going on. As much as I don't like Lil Wayne's music, as much as I don't respect him as a musician... Regardless of how much it pisses me off that he tries to pass off that he's a skater, you gotta respect what he says, you know? He's just being straight up honest. He's not having to play into this whole thing where the media's trying to pressure into him to be like, oh, you're oppressed, feel bad, and, and feed into this narrative. He's like, no, nah, I haven't really experienced oppression. See, Trey, I really want you to pay attention. This is very important because he's another rich black man, just like you, and he hasn't experienced racism like you have. And that should tell you, this should really tell you that we are individuals, even though I'm black, you're black, he's black, we all have our own individual experiences. And you don't just automatically experience oppression just because you're black. He is living proof, and there are plenty of other people are too. Listen to Morgan Freeman, for example. So can we, can I go back to, because I, I, I thought what you said was fascinating, because you called it bull when you said people can't, you know, pull themselves up. Do you think that race plays a part in wealth dis distribution or either a mindset that you can't or cannot? Yeah. No. You don't? No. I don't. I don't. Hey, you and I, we're proof. Why would race have anything to do with it? Stick your, put your mind to what you want to do and go for that. Uh, it's kind of like religion to me. It's a good excuse for not getting there. Yeah. You know, I said, and it's probably getting me in trouble, but I said to some of my colleagues recently, said, so I know that it's an issue, but I've been, it seems like every single day on television I'm talking about race, and it's because of the news cycle, it's in the news, but I'm so, sometimes I get so tired of talking about it, I want to I wanna just go, this is over, can we move on? And, and, and if you talk about it, it exists. Right. Yeah. It's not like it exists, and we refuse to talk about it, but making it a bigger issue than it needs to be is the problem we have. Thank goodness, Trey. Thank goodness not all black people think like you because it would be such a fucking shame. Listen, Trey, this is really important. A lot of people are trying to get past racism, but your type of rhetoric, your racist rhetoric, is making it alive and well. It's making people have a disdain for you and your black skin, your melanin. I mean, seriously, you offer no solutions. I mean, and then when somebody black tries to have some type of solution, you just call them coons and shit. Like, you have fucking The Game and Snoop Dogg trying to come together with the LAPD sheriff, and then they're called coons for trying to stop the violence. I mean, what do you suggest we do? Are we just supposed to bitch and moan and then just expect white people to whip themselves? Is that a solution? What the hell is that even gonna do? It's pretty sad that people like you and Colin Kaepernick do not recognize how well you have it in this country. You offer no solutions to what you perceive as the problem, and then you talk shit about white people and cops and think that's gonna solve racism. I'm sorry, dude. I know everybody is entitled to their opinion, and you can speak as much as you want, but the thing is, I'm gonna speak out against you because I think what you're doing is poisonous. You have three million subscribers, and you're trying to teach them that white people are racist, and you're trying to show your white fans that they're fucking racist, and they should be feeling guilty and recognize that they're so much better than you when that's fucking insane clearly you're in a better position than them 
They, that's why they love you. That's why they watch you. What the hell's the matter with you, dude? Why are you trying so hard to be oppressed? Why are you trying so hard to be like, look at me, my oppressions. Look at me, everybody. Oh my God, oh my God, my money doesn't mean shit. Oh my God, this homeless guy that's dying on the street is fucking better than me. You're an idiot, you're an asshole, you're a racist, and you will never be considered a brother to me. My white friend that I've known since six years old, the whitest motherfucker that you can see with freckles and everything, is more of a brother than you will ever be to me. Do not lump me in with other black people. We are all individuals and we all have our own experiences and struggles. And I want to leave you with some wise words from Raiden. Every mortal is responsible for his own destiny.